Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. We are going on week four here in California of shelter in place. So I think a lot of us are actually sort of getting into the swing of things. We're learning how to work from home if we are able to. Those of us who are still going out and in the workforce, we're taking all the precautions that we need to. I'm working a little bit from home and of course I'm still getting as many boxes as I can in hopes of supporting these small businesses that are continuing to bring a little brightness into our homes but also to share them with you so that you can either decide if you want to treat yourself or a loved one to one of these awesome subscription boxes. Now the one that I've got for you today is Brownstone in Maine which is one of the small businesses that supports other small businesses and I'm not going to show you the front because it does have my address on it. It's a nice simple box. A Brownstone in Maine is one of the ones that I really like though because it is bi-monthly. There's not a lot of bi-monthly subscriptions out there. It is a little bit pricey though. It's $44.99 but like I said it does support small businesses. That's kind of where the name comes from right? Uh, like Main Street USA. So let's get into this one and see what we've got. This is the third time that I have opened this for you on my channel and inside it just has some simple tissue paper and then a sticker that suggests that this is all recycled materials, packing supplies, which is great, of course. And then I've got this little card that talks about sharing um, and it says review us at Crate Joy, keyword Brownstone and Maine to be entered to win a free six month subscription. So that would be three boxes, right? Because it's bi-monthly. And it says, because of you, we donated a portion of this box, the Malala Fund, to bring quality education to all girls all around the world. So it's nice to know that you have that cause going on. I know that you are all probably, those of you with children at home, when you're homeschooling, you probably even more come to appreciate educators. They are, they are angels. Um, and so inside here we have the theme and I kind of forgot about it They announced it so long ago, but the theme is love mother earth So of course this is like the month of Earth Day and a lot of the different subscriptions that I get are doing sort of eco-friendly Themes, which is great. I need to get much much better about it But I have slowly but surely made the transition to bringing my bags to the grocery store Although right now we can't bring our own bags to the grocery store uh, Getting some nice reusable straws so that I'm not stuck with those terrible paper straws and just being a lot better about recycling whenever possible. It's just not that hard. It's more that it's getting into the habit of doing it, right? So let's see what it says. It says, Love Mother Earth. The Love Mother Earth box is in celebration of Earth Day, which is on April 22nd. In this box, you'll find products that are all eco-friendly and earth conscious. This box features six female entrepreneurs who not only support the fight to protect our planet, but also creates products that are good for our environment. When we curated the box, we wanted to provide you products that fit your everyday lifestyle while showing you eco-friendly alternatives to your everyday products. Finding eco-friendly products to replace plastic and other hazardous products isn't as hard as you think. So they're kind of seconding what I just said says, I hope you love the Mother Earth box, XOXO uh, Jesse, and then inside, this is a pretty nicely produced little pamphlet, um, and it does include the retail values, which you guys know that I love. So again, this box is $45, that does include the shipping. Obviously, if you do a longer month subscription, you can get a little bit of a discount, but let's keep that in mind as we move through and see what's in there. And it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six items so we'll read about that as we go through so we've got some nice green foozles which are probably very recyclable but also kind of goes with that earth idea so i like that theming so the first thing that i am seeing is coming in a little hair tie and let me show it to you so these are i think they're little like makeup pads like reusable ones so there's one two, three, four, five, six. So let's read. It says your eco items are easy to care for. Just wash and dry with like colors. Please don't use fabric softener. So this is from Zero Waistline. They're little facial rounds and you can use them to remove eye makeup, wash your face or in place of cotton balls. You can use them as nursing pads in place of disposable nursing pads and you can use them as baby wipes. And they also at their website, it's 
epicallyembroidered.com and they do have a 25% off code. It's eco25. So if I ever say that too fast because I don't edit my videos and put stuff on the screen, you guys, definitely feel free to drop me a line in the comments below and I will always, I usually hold on to all of this information for a few weeks at least and I can go and find that for you. So all of those things, I wouldn't be using them for nursing pads or baby wipes because I don't have kids. But facial rounds, I could definitely use that for. I don't wear a ton of makeup, but I do like have some toners and stuff. So this is kind of nice and six would actually last me a while. They're kind of cute. They're like like felted almost. So like you can see this like cute springy pattern here. And then they're just stitched and it's like the same on the other side. We got all these pretty colors. And then of course they are connected with a little hair tie. I don't use hair ties a lot, but let's see if we can read a little bit more about zero zero waste line. I have to like try to find it here. Where is it? It says these retail at $7. They're perfect for washing your face or taking off your makeup with your favorite makeup remover. And then you can just throw them into the washing machine. These are made from made by Nicole and it says that owning her own business allows her to spend her days running after her two sweet grandchildren and creating one-of-a-kind embroidered keepsakes at night. So that is very sweet. Very happy to have that. And then let's keep going. So that seems reasonable. I mean, like you're gonna get many uses out of them and it's only like $7. This looks like a little bonus item and it's very cute packaging. It's just a little wildflower mix. So great thing. I don't have a yard, but maybe I can get like a big planter um, to put these in. This is a retail value of just $3. It says, this is a bonus item by Brownstone and Maine, the wildflower mix. For the Love Mother Earth Box, we decided to include one of our very own handmade products. The Wildflower Mix is perfect to welcome spring with. Sprinkle the mix around your garden in a flower pot or in your window boxes. They will bring all different kinds of birds to your home and help bees continue to prosper. So I will, I think I have a pot that I could probably use and that might be just a nice way of having a little bit of nature um, in our concrete patio that we have out on the alley of our street. So a little brightness, hopefully I'll get some pretty wild flowers and then if I do I will definitely feature them over on my Instagram account and if you guys aren't following me there yet please do it's just Maui underscore Noel I always leave the link for that below as well all right let's get into the other items so I'm seeing a tea tree and fruit dry shampoo and I've never seen dry shampoo in like a container like this like I feel like usually it's like in a spray bottle so I got some dry shampoo to try out from a good vibe scribe box and I haven't had the opportunity to use it because I thought it would be really good for like traveling or after a yoga class um, but of course I've been home and so I haven't really been working out in those situations where I need to use it but let's see what it says about this and this is um, by Urban Organics and this is she is also a Nicole the owner of this company and this says it's $15 when washing your hair just isn't an option, leave it to this vegan organic dry shampoo to revive your dull greasy hair in minutes, regain volume, and indulge in the clean citrus aroma. So that is super cool. She's an aromatherapist and a Reiki master. So let's see how we would use this. So you can see it's, um, it is a powder on the inside. It does, it smells really good, very citrusy, I like that. And then let me just see if there's some, it says how to. Divide hair into sections, pour one teaspoon lightly across created part. Allow powder to set for a bit. Massage scalp and tussle hair to create volume. Brush hair thoroughly until powder is evenly distributed. So I would definitely have to try this out just because it's a light colored powder obviously in my dark hair and I know that sometimes people have issues with that so again I've never used dry shampoo. If you have any tips about using dry shampoo in this form especially when you might not actually just like have a teaspoon with you um, how long do you guys think that is? It just says allow to set for a bit so it's not the most exact instructions that I've ever read before. Let's put that off to the side. So I like that they have some eco-friendly self care products in here so far and then we've got this very popular saying she believes she could so she did and it's just this like simple notebook but you can see this is kind of like embossed it's got a little bit of height to it the lettering and then inside it looks like it is we've got the card from willow lettering that's the company and then just simple kind of 
uh, beige pages with some lines. I don't use a lot of journals like this. These are things that I often kind of tuck into giveaways um, or just give to girlfriends that are a little bit better about journaling. When I do journal, I like to have spiral bound notebooks, which isn't as pretty, um, but just it's kind of works with my uh, type A-ness where I like to have all the pages look perfectly printed like I will rewrite an entire page it's just so I don't have like crazy scribbles and cross outs which I know is a big waste of time should embrace the flaws that's part of the reason I started this YouTube channel so that I could not be a perfectionist about it because I don't know how to edit my videos I know it's not that hard I just again trying to keep trying to keep things more simple so let's see what we've got to say about willow lettering not a Nicole this time, this time it's a Megan, and it says that this little hand-lettered notebook is worth $13. So it looks like maybe she actually hand-lettered it and then like used embossing powder to create that raised effect. Let's see. It says this notebook is perfect to write down your everyday thoughts or journaling. I use mine to brainstorm ideas for future boxes. I kind of like that first person, how she's talking about these items, the, the box owner, Jessie, how she's talking about these items in the first person says Megan is the owner of Willow Lettering. It doesn't actually say anything about how she created the, this cover, but that's what it actually feels and looks like to me. Like she actually wrote it and then like used embossing powder to create that effect. So that's kind of cool. I don't know that I would honestly pay $13 for that. Um, when you, while it's cool that she probably like did each piece individually, of course you can buy those like that have been made in bulk and so it's something that you would just have to have the satisfaction of knowing that it was a one of a kind piece. All right, I'm trying to pull this out without getting foozles all over the ground, but I am not succeeding. So let's just let them fall to the ground. This is a nice reusable shopping bag, which I will have a chance to use hopefully in the future. Like I said, right now they're not letting us bring our own bags into the grocery stores for safety. So this is a nice shape though. Usually mine are more of the upright tote side size and it is a nice, thick canvas with some sh shoulder straps. So it looks like it would fit quite a few groceries and it does feel pretty sturdy, pretty strong. I like that it just simply says, this is not a plastic bag. And then it's got some flowers, like some scroll work around it. So this is pretty and simple and kind of not like cheeky, but it's, you know, it's kind of meta, right? Or it's not meta, but it's, it's very simply pointing out that you are using a reusable bag. And let's see what that is. So it looks like this is not a plastic bag. Tote bag is worth $16. That is a very fair price. That's about how much bags like that are, if not more when they're that quality, like that weight. Um, it just says it's perfect for your grocery shopping or farmer's market finds that would go great with some of the produce bags that I had just got in my cause box. I also have some other produce bag from a white willow box. Uh, it says Jennifer is the owner of the coin laundry print shop. She designs and hand screen prints each of her items using water-based inks and all natural solvents. So each one is unique and environmentally friendly. So very, very cool item. And then I think we just have one more thing for me to, to suss out. And this is Peace on Poe Modern Hippie Skin Balm. It says botanical goodness with a modern spin in this earthly and bold aromatic mix. So let me open this up. And this is the Peace on Earth Poe Skin Balm. This balm is handmade in small batches and is filled with eco-friendly ingredients. Throw in your purse for on-the-go use this spring and this is worth $16, which is probably about right. It comes in like a cardboard cylinder, so that is kind of interesting, very eco-looking packaging. And this is made um, by Kelsey. Founded by a plant-loving modern mama with a hippie heart who wanted more versatility in natural skincare, Peace on Poe is a woman-owned, small batch, artfully made, holistic wellness company. So let me see if it says anything. It is sealed. I'm not gonna open it up because I feel like that often, especially with organic products, means that it has a shorter shelf life once you open it up, even though I'm curious. Um, let's see what it says. Apply and smooth into skin as needed for hydration and nourishment. 
keep out of heat melts easily so I feel like it's like a chapstick like for your skin so you probably it's just part well, a little harder like more like a lotion bar but this is a nice size so you could use it as like your hand cream keep it in your purse like she says although you don't want to let it get hot so this is kind of a cool item I'll probably hold on to this and find use for it at some point I do have some other products to make my way through first so let's just go through it we got this guy this was worth $16 we got the nice tote bag which was worth um $16 as well so that brings us already to like 32 we got this uh little notebook which was $13 so that brings us to 45 and then we've also got the um the dry shampoo which was another $15 so that brings us to 60 <laughs> I'm having a hard time doing the math you guys and then we got these little rounds which uh, are seven and then the little seed seed kit so that's another ten dollars so it brings us up to uh, seventy dollars in value on this forty four ninety nine box now if you have watched my unboxings I do like to get a little bit above the retail value with the smaller boxes that are supporting small businesses I understand when it's not like five times the value most of the time those boxes that do give you those super high values they're either bigger boxes that have sponsors that have investors or they're giving you really elevated retail values so this for the most part seems fair there's not a ton of things that I probably would have picked out for myself but there's definitely nothing that I feel like is something I will never use or that I could not gift to someone else that they would find useful I will probably re-gift the little notebook just because I don't need one I'm excited to try these because then I don't have to buy the little cotton rounds anymore um, I love the bag actually even though I have a ton of grocery tote bags I like that one a lot I like the style I like how simple it is and I gotta give that dry shampoo a shot one of these days let me know what you guys think about this box if you think that I should continue with it this was my third in a three box subscription and other than that I hope you have a fantastic day to see you very very soon in my next unboxing stay well